Hello folks and welcome to an Inkdependence.com brief video review of Newler's Texas Pecan. This is a Drum Ghouls exclusive. Comes in this little one ounce jar. Uh, I have a bad feeling I'm going to go through this one ounce fairly quickly. I've refilled my Twisby 700, this big guy, uh, with that two or three times. Uh, still a lot left because Newler's really fills their bottles to the brim. Uh, I don't want to try opening it one handed. Uh, on this bottle you'll see uh, the White House and some pecans and I don't know, some of uh, Nathan's political humor. They sent him nuts. I, I don't know. It's not, not a great label, but uh, it's kind of fun. All right. Uh, inside that bottle, you'll find a really nice version of a pecan brown. Sorry, the lighting's a little weird. It's super dark outside. We've got a thunderstorm going on. It's 80 degrees and hailing. Totally strange. Uh, but inside, I've got some Dillers Texas Pecan. This is a uh, really well-behaved ink. Uh, I've had a lot of fun using it. I had to sort of write this review to force myself to take it out of a pen and uh, put something else in that pen. Right now, this one actually has one of this uh, ink's brothers, I suppose you might say. It's uh, Newler's Blue Bonnet. Uh, I'm kind of psyched about that. Anyway, this is a Drum Ghouls exclusive, so you have to go to Drum Ghouls uh, in Houston, Texas, or else call them at this here number uh, in order to get your hands on some. This is a great ink, and I definitely think people ought to get their hands on some. It's not going to be as flashy as some other browns. It's not as super dark. Uh, it doesn't have a whole lot of shading, although there is a fair amount of shading, but the flow is perfect. The spread, eh, maybe a little bit of spread on some really cheap paper, like filler paper, you know, that stuff you get for, um, you know, uh, middle school or whatever. It's not very good, and it'll spread a little bit, but really no feathering, just a few dots in, in terms of uh, bleed through, just not a whole lot. Now, if you look at it here, I've got several other brownish things, uh, including uh, J. Herbal's Cacao du Brazil, which is a really nice brown that I also love a lot, but it's much darker, you see, than the Texas pecan. Uh, if you're familiar with pecans, they're kind of that color. They've got sort of streaks of light and uh, dark brown in them. I grew up on the Texas coast, and we had pecan trees, and I always had to gather up pecans. Uh, I don't really eat them anymore. Maybe that's why, but uh, anyway... Uh, it's, uh, well, it looks like a pecan, man. <laughs> That's what I'm getting at here. Uh, in my swatch, you can see... I don't know if I can get the light to hit this thing just right. Come on, let's focus, huh? Oh, that was weird. All right, we got the light to focus on it. Yeah, you'll see that uh, it's got just a little bit of sheen in there if you put it down real thick. But also, I think that this might... Yeah, it smears just a little bit, even after it's dry, on those really heavy bits. But if you're uh, just using a pen, you're probably not going to get that. All right, now time for the drip test. What did I do with my? Here it is. All right, handy dandy needle full of water. Let's see what happens when you squirt some water on this ink. I actually have no idea. I don't think it's supposed to have any particular waterproof qualities, but one never knows with noodlers. All right, well, I don't really see anything coming up, so that's kind of a good sign. By the way, I love doing these water tests on Rhodia. It's such sturdy paper. All right, here we go. And uh, man. Yeah, no brown coming off on this. Let's dab it a little bit. Uh, there's a little bit that managed to smear down right here. But, uh, man, the rest of it, totally solid. So, hey, who knew? This is a waterproof brown, it sure looks like. So that's neat. Get yourself a bottle of New Lake Texas Pecan. Call up John Ghouls. Those guys are fabulous. And uh, get yourself a bottle. Thanks very much. Bye.